Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I actually wanted to cover what a burner domain actually is. I get asked this question so many times and there's so many people confused on this topic that I just wanted to make a simple video of what a burner domain is, how you use it, what qualifies as a burner domain, etc. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, a burner domain is something that you use to send out cold emails from as to not lose your primary domain. Now this is one of the most most simplest ways of me to explain this to you is that you have your primary domain which you have your website hosted on which you have client communication through and then you've got another domain that you use primarily for cold outreach primarily for cold outreach being key because you don't want to use that email for anything else because there are there are you know possibilities that that burner that domain may burn that is why it's called a burner domain and that the domain may land your emails in spam and it may get blacklisted soon because if you send out too much volume, if you send out too many bounce requests, etc. There are a lot of ways that Google works in the back end which we do not know. So that is why we keep our primary domain and our secondary domain or the burner domain separate from each other. So as you can see, uh, for the main domain, we've got shivam at one labscom but for burner domain, we've got shivam at one labscom now this is one of those questions that I get asked a lot is what is the difference between the two? Can I have, uh, you know, info at onelinelabs.com as my burner and show them at onelinelabs.com as my primary? And the answer is no, absolutely not. Uh, at onelinelabs.com is the actual domain. This is just your pretext to which email they're sending it to. This is the domain of yours. And if this these two domains are the same and I use this, email to send out cold messages or cold emails and my this domain my this main email id is also in danger versus if i use shivam at one line labs.co so that's right every time you have to buy a fully new domain and set it up from scratch and do you need a burner account is what i get asked and yes you do need a burner account trust me on this you don't want to lose your primary domain I personally have never used Shivam at onelinelabs.com to send out any sort of cold email uh, campaigns. Yes, I may have sent out two or three cold emails just, you know, if I know that I'm reaching out to a particular person and I'm hand typing the whole email, uh, but I've never connected it to any sort of warm up software, any software of any sort. I've always used this as my primary domain to send out client messages, to host my website on, to host communication with you guys on, if there are orders coming in, etc. All come to shivam at onelinelabs.com and not to shivam at onelinelabs.co because that is used primarily for cold outreach. So don't mix the two. You want to burn a domain, so in case you get your burn, domain burned, I can just go and buy onelinelab.co and then start the process over again without actually harming my business in any sort of a way and what you want to do to set up a burner account for cold email is number one buy a new domain number two set up your new email address number three set up a signature and a profile photo uh, number four configure your domains dkim and sps settings number five would warm up your new email account number six start building your email outreach list and number seven choose your cold email outreach tool and get started you can use lemlist instantly quick mail any of that sort i'm going to be covering a lot more softwares on the channel uh, after this video so be sure to subscribe for that i'm going to take a look at a lot of new software that are up and coming show you how to set up and my review on that particular software so this is basically it i don't want to pull this video too long what a burner domain is why you need it and what to do to set it up and do let me know if you like this kind of short video wherein i explain to you what everything is and in case you do, do hit the like button and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.